and welcome to this Profit Protector Pro video. So today I wanted to answer a question that I don't think is talked about often enough. So when it comes to the basic uh, repricer questions, it's always how do you use a repricer? Why do I need one? Um, what is a repricer? But today I wanted to answer when do I need a repricer? I think that is just as important a question as the rest of them and understanding when you might need one in your business is going to be useful to know. So simply the answer is the exact timing of when you need a repricer is completely up to you. Um, it's also down to your finances as well, where you are in your journey, how confident you are um, with going ahead and using one. If you've just gotten started with the, with, with the whole world of Amazon, it might not be something that you leap into straight away. It all depends on you as an individual and what your circumstances are. But I wanted to explain and talk about the the uh, elements to consider to help you decide when you might need one in your business. So with a repricer, obviously a repricer is something that will reprice your products for you. So you set a minimum and a, ma and a maximum price and it will work its way between the two to help you win the buy box. But something like Profit Protector Pro, it uses smart strategies to do this more effectively, um, resulting in increased profits and speedier sales. So when do you need something like this? Um, and of course, Amazon offer their own repricer, you know, it's just part of being an Amazon seller. So why would you need to move across from an Amazon repricer through to something that is paid for like Profit Protector Pro? So the Amazon repricer um, is a very basic setup for repricing. And of course, if you're just getting started with the world of Amazon, if Amazon are offering it to you as part of selling on Amazon, then by all means, go ahead and use it. Um, and that will help you get to grips with repricing basics, you know, getting used to setting min and max prices, uh, basic strategies, and just getting things repricing. At the point where you've used it for a time and you've built up some 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 profits from that, you've you've built up your 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 um, your your income, your revenue, um, and also your your journey has has you know gone on for longer as an Amazon seller. You've increased in experience. That is when you know when you feel comfortable enough to then upgrade because it is inevitable. If you are going to continue selling on Amazon, you're pulling in more money. Uh, you're looking at buying more stock. You're going to need to grow, and that includes in a software sense. So, in order to make the most out of repricing, this is where you will then likely need to upgrade to a paid-for repricer. So, when you have the finances to do so, when you feel comfortable with it, um. And just when you're basically ready to up the game when it comes to repricing. Now, of course, the sooner that you can do this, particularly with something like Profit Protector Pro, the more power is going to be in more ha in, in your hands. Because you, compared to other beginners that might not know anything about reprices, uh, they might not be looking into paid for reprices, whereas you probably are, hence why you're looking at this video, uh, watching this video right now. Um, it's going to give you a massive advantage over sellers like that, that, as I say, aren't looking into reprices, aren't looking into paid for ones. Um, they just don't have that possibility in their minds for the near future. Um, you're looking at this now. So basically, the sooner that you can get a repricer in your business, the better. The sooner you can get a paid for repricer, that's going to do more for you because that's what you're paying for. You're paying for them to do a lot more for you. Therefore, the results are going to be amazing. Um, and Profit Protector Pro does speak for itself. There are lots and lots and lots of happy, happy users. Um, there's also some testimonials on the website itself if you wanted to sort of read up about what people are saying about the software. Um, and there is lots of videos about it on, on YouTube, on TikTok, uh, made by users of Profit Protector Pro um, who will tell you about it, about their experience with it. Um, and they will all be good experiences so that isn't me sort of like pushing profit protect pro to you but in essence it will eventually pay for itself because it is winning you the buy box increasing the price um, and therefore making sales at a at a higher price making you even more profit and so with that it will eventually pay for itself and you're still making additional profit so it is a well worth investment um, and it is going to be a massive help to you and your Amazon business. Um, just like you couldn't sell on Amazon and go really, really far just using things 
like you know just the amazon repricer that they offer you um, and you know very simplistic things like that if you're going to grow you're going to need advanced tools with you um, and tools as well that take the weight off of your shoulders so profit protector pro helps automate several processes so that way you can focus on other areas of your amazon business um, which effectively gives you more time um, and you don't have to do as many tedious tasks because Profit Protector Pro is going to be part of the solution. Uh, it's going to be doing a lot of those things for you when it comes to the, the repricing side of things. Um, you can set up automations as well. So like, let's say if a product hasn't sold in X amount of time and you're going to switch the strategy, you can set up an automation Profit Protector Pro so it does that for you. So you don't have to keep a constant eye on your inventory and keep changing things. Profit Protector Pro will do a lot of the heavy lifting uh, for you. So when exactly do you use one? So let's just review what we were talking about. So if you are just getting started with, with repricing, you're just getting started with selling on Amazon, then by all means, go ahead and use the Amazon uh, repricer. Get to grips with setting min and max prices, you know, get used to, you know, feeling when things might need changing, what sort of strategies that you like, the sort of strategies that you want to look to set on items, depending on your goals. Um, and then obviously, once you have gotten used to that and your finances allow you, when you feel comfortable, that is when you can move on. But as I mentioned, the sooner that you're able to do it, the sooner that you're able to comfortably do it, the better it's going to be for you. And as I say, it will eventually uh, pay for itself. So it is a no brainer in that respect. You've got everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose, um, especially with something like Profit Protector Pro because there is a free trial as well. So if we go on to the pricing, uh, you will be able to see that here. So there's a 14 day free trial. You'll be able to see everything about uh, each of the plans as well. So you can have um 1000 listings actively repricing with the software 5000 10000 you know depending on the size of your inventory what exactly you need there is something there within profit protector pro for um any level of of, of amazon seller so when do you need a repricer as soon as comfortably possible is the best answer that we can give but ultimately it is up to you as well um but hopefully you know giving the trial a shot, you'll see, you know, how much it's going to help your business and, and what a drastic difference it is between, you know, using something like this and then using, say, the Amazon repricer, for example. Um, and of course, that's not me throwing dirt on anything at all. That's not me throwing dirt on the Amazon repricer. It's a great tool and it is great that Amazon offer that. Um, and it's also fantastic for, you know, learning about repricing that, you know, that bit more Amazon experience. Um, you know, just getting used to, as I say, setting minimax prices, strategies, and so forth. So hopefully this video has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the question in the comments, and I'll see you soon.